Hi everyone, so this is my trusty old dirt jump bike you may recognize um, because it has been pretty much the same for a long time, almost two years. But with Audi 9s coming up round the corner, I think it's time to uh, give it a few little treats, upgrade a few parts and just spice it up a little bit. So first things first, we're going to strip down this one. We've got new forks to put on, new wheels, new tyres, new brake and uh, yeah, it's going to be good as new by the time we're done. Hammer always helps everything. So we're going to start off with these new forks. They're SR Sontor Duralux. They're actually more of an enduro fork, but they're lowered down to 100 mil and perfect. Nice and strong for um, the dirt jump bike. All we've got to do is put on this little, this race crown thing here. Well, I'll show you a little tip for if you don't have the tool, like myself you can just sacrifice an old headset bearing and hammer it on, um, then you don't damage it. Yes, some viewers may find this distressing. But it saves going to the bike shop. There we go, easy as that, no damage, and the bearing's ready to smash another one next week. So we've lined up the new forks, and um, we've got to basically measure where to cut off, because forks always come a bit too long. And um, I put a spacer above and below, just in case, so when I cut it, you can move the spacers up and down afterwards, so once you've cut it, if you cut it too short, obviously it's too late, but if you leave a spacer above there, you can move the stem up or down after you've ridden it a bit and so you can get used to it, so there's a top tip for you. And of course, the trusty old plumber's pipe cutter, here for another one to get that perfect cut. Lovely. Now I need to put the nut in. Yeah, to put the star nut in is actually quite tricky, so I do have this cool tool I bought off the internet. It wasn't very expensive, but I definitely recommend it because it puts it in the perfect depth and nice and straight every time. You just sort of hammer it on the top, <laughs> like this. Unscrew it. And there it is, perfectly in every time. Nice. Looks quite cool, that grey, I think. I like that new Suntour stuff. So the bars I'm going to use, as usual actually, is the, uh, the VibraCore Spike 800 bars, but cut down to about 780, so they're a bit sort of shorter, which is better for bar spins and stuff. These ones are actually 50 mil rise, so they're really tall, as you can see. Um, just because, yeah, it gives you a bit more of an upright position on the bike, so you can spin it around easier. Bar spins, you've got a bit more room. Uh, there we go. Usually I just kind of guess at what angle the bars are going to be, just tighten them up loosely. And then uh, when it's back on the floor, do them up and fine tune them a bit more. So there we go, that'll do. So again, for the grips, we've got Spank Spike grips with these little naughty red bits on there. They're actually just off the bike because I um, don't like to be wasteful and they've got plenty, plenty of grip left on them. This time, we've got the Kenda 360 Pro tires, but with this funky new sort of, looks like a honey badger actually, white wall sort of thing. We're gonna pair those up with the Spank Spike Race 33 26 inch, um, it's like a dirt jump specific wheel set. New one from Spank, it's pretty cool. It's got this like single speed kind of BMX style hub. So that's gonna be super strong and it's gonna sound good. So I pumped my dirt jump tires up to around 55 PSI. Some guys go a bit harder, but I like a bit of play in there. And um, yeah, that might sound like ridiculously hard to most mountain bike people, but you really need it, especially because we're going to the John Pound, hopefully in a minute. Now the sun's come out. They like really tight transitions, so there's a lot of force. So your tires need to be a lot harder so they don't fold over and um, become unpredictable. So that's why we run it so hard. So if you've never had SR Suntour forks, you should check out this um, quick release axle thing. It's quite rad. Such a good design, actually. You just push it in and that's that. All you do is pop the end, twist it, and it comes out again. Really cool, I reckon. So yeah, that's looking good. Looking pretty old school, I like it. So we've got a little tiny baby 160 rotor on the, uh, just on the back wheel here. Um, we don't really need anything bigger because we've got little 26 inch wheels and yeah, you don't really need that much sort of heat dissipation or anything on a dirt jump bike. So 160 is lighter, nice and small out of the way as well. Less likely to cut yourself on it or anything. Hopefully <laughs> this fits in actually. Nice. I kept the same chain and stuff on just because bit of a faff and um, I want to go riding instead. 
I'll just share with everyone my top tip. Um, I don't run chainstays, and uh, because you've got single speed, it's good to have your chain nice and tight so it doesn't rattle around. And also, the tighter your chain, the less your cranks spin around, so when you take your feet off, they don't spin. So you want to have that nice and tight. A good tip that I always do is to do up the left side first, uh, so the wheel's a bit too far over to the left. Then when the left side's done up, push it really hard across with the wheel there, and then do that up, and hopefully that's in the middle. And then you get a nice, perfectly tight chain. Sick. So the final thing we have to put on is a brake. And um, if anyone's wondering, I have an XTR caliper and an SLX lever for no reason other than that's all I could find in my shed because I think I ordered a rear XTR brake, but I think it came from Europe, so it was a right lever and I like it on the left. So I had a spare SLX lever, so that's what we're going with. Epic, well, we're pretty much done. Just a few more bits to do up, like the grips. Then there's only one place to go test it out, the jump pound. Go back to bed, you know you're not supposed to be up and around. I think I'm going to put my bars down one space today. It feels a little bit high. Woo! Get the guy. Call it there, CA. It's getting a bit dark. But I'd say the dirt jump by upgrade are working perfectly, and I can't wait to go ride it at Audi 9s. In fact, by the time you probably watch this, me and CA Greenwood, the cameraman here, we're actually going to be out there with our spades in the ground making some jumps. So, yeah, stay tuned. There's going to be some cool stuff coming soon.